Today we have a very cool episode. We'll check out some finds that shocked the whole world. Make some noise and let's go. The skeleton of a giant. When it comes to skeletons found by scientists, we involuntarily imagine the remains of our ancestors, or at least traces of ancient civilizations that are comparable to us. But what can you say about that? A group of scientists from Florida stumbled across something quite extraordinary. This skeleton exceeded 66 feet in length but at the same time strongly resembled that of a human in terms of shape. It had a skull similar to ours, two arms and two legs. But could such people have existed? No one can give an exact answer to this question. Some are convinced that this is an obvious fake. Others are of the opinion that allegedly this picture is unique and the discovery means that in the past, either deities or just giant humanoids walked on our planet. What do you believe more? UFO. That's what you're watching this channel for. More often than not, something new can be discovered, only deep underground or in some caves. But that's not what I'm going to talk about now. On January 18th, 2023, it was enough to raise your head and look up to the sky to find a mysterious flying object there. It was captured by the Subaru telescope camera of the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, which works on top of a Hawaiian volcano at an altitude of more than two and a half miles above sea level. In general, this volcano is one of the favorite places for observations of astrophysicists. There are more than a dozen points there. So this rather large and bright object, which very slowly floated across the sky and at the same time gradually changed its appearance, got in the field of view of one of them. Shortly before its disappearance, it took a graceful shape, very similar to a galactic spiral. The sleeves of this galaxy gradually became wider and wider and then dissipated, and the object smoothly dissolved into the night sky. The locals say that this is not the first time that they've seen such a thing, but no one has been able to understand what it is and how it's formed. What do you think? What was it? Some kind of planet? A UFO? An alien satellite? Or something else? The Koso Artifact The next amazing discovery occurred in 1961, when geologist Robert Radford was sawing the stones collected the previous day with a diamond disc. When it came to the third stone, the disc suddenly rattled and burst. The intrigued geologist took a closer look and realized that he was looking at something strange, something he'd never seen before in his life. It was an object that resembled a spark plug, and most interestingly, a spark plug that was inside a formation a million or more years old. Koso is the name of the mountain from which this thing was pulled out. The artifact was named after the mountain. Outwardly, the find was a dense stone nodule, inside of which there was a thick piece of white pottery with a metal rod in the center. Not knowing what to do with it, scientists promptly transferred the object to their colleagues from the University of California. But even they, possessing much better tools, were powerless. No one could solve the problem in which a man-made object resembling a spark plug turned out to be inside a million-year-old natural object. This may be both proof of a time machine and an example of the fact that in the past there was still some advanced civilization that knew something that we do not even guess. The Kochno Stone This stone is much more mysterious and interesting to me than the Koso artifact. The thing is, it's been unsolved for over 100 years. It was discovered in 1887. The artifact was 30 by 60 feet, all inscribed with petroglyphs. Usually, scientists quickly determine the nature of the drawing. It can be ritual, memorial, iconic, and so on. But here, everyone was helpless. The best minds of the planet puzzle over the essence of these drawings to this day and cannot come to a consensus. Various symbols, patterns, spirals, dots, circles, and much more were painted in large quantities on the stone. Such an unusual find immediately interested scientists, and for the best study, they highlighted all the drawings with white paint. With the help of the paint, they were able to clearly see all the symbols. There were many hypotheses as to what exactly the stone served. Some thought it was a map of the starry sky, others thought it was a map of the train, and still others thought that this place was used for some kind of ritual purposes. Having failed to come to a consensus, people decided to bury the stone back underground so as to not accidentally break it. 
five more years passed, and finally, with new technologies, the attempt to solve the mysteries were repeated again. It turned out that most likely we had a Star Trek map in front of us all along. But this raises a new question. How could the people who created the stone more than 5,000 years ago draw something like this? Involuntarily, but one begins to believe in aliens. The Witches Things in the past, people paid special attention to witches and witchcraft in general. Everyone who had anything to do with magic was, to put it mildly, disliked. However, it was simply impossible to keep track of every person's actions. So was the case here. Scientists found something interesting during the excavation of a rich house in Pompeii. The witch's treasure was safely hidden and probably would never have been found if not for a modern metal detectors and other auxiliary tools, let alone people from the past who never had a chance to find all the stuff. As historians say, it's very likely that we see the treasure of a witch who was in this house as a slave or an ordinary servant. In secret from her masters, she did her dark deeds, and when they returned home, the witch hid her arsenal away and went back to her everyday life. Beads, two mirrors, a necklace, decorative elements made of glazed pottery, bronze, bones, amber, as well as several carved human figurines. It's unlikely that all of this was an ordinary keepsake collection, right? And now I'll tell you about what archaeologists have found in Egypt. We have a lot of stories about Egypt. I've told a lot of stories, but this is something much more colorful and expensive than a witchcraft kit. I'm talking about the incredibly beautiful tomb of someone from Egypt named Kiwi. Surprisingly, history knows nothing about any Kiwi. This man was not one of the higher-ups, he was not a nobleman either, and he was not a famous priest or anything like that. But then why did he have such a brightly colored grave? What do you think? Let's figure it out. The writings on the walls honor him as Pharaoh's only friend, overseer of the great house, and one of the 10 greatest in Upper Egypt. In other words, this man must have been famous. There's no mention of him in history. Doesn't that seem strange to you? By the way, here's another interesting thing about this tomb. Modern scientists came across some very beautiful paintings in it. All of them were preserved almost perfectly. The color palette shone exactly as it did thousands of years earlier. But how did the Egyptians manage to keep the colors so saturated? None of today's scientists have yet to give an answer to this question. The Disk of Sabu Ancient people may have been far more advanced than we are. That stone with the image of space, the tomb that preserved the colors, the spark plug in the stone, and now the Disk of Sabu. All of these artifacts suggest that ancient people either knew how to design very complex things or could use artifacts of another, even more highly developed civilization. The disk was found in 1936 during the excavation of a burial site in northern Saqqara. A nobleman named Sabu was buried there, and next to him was this disc. It had been broken into many pieces, but it was not difficult to put them back together. When reconstructed, it appeared to be a stone disc with three bent petals. In some places, the stone is only a millimeter and a half thick. The purpose of this object is still unknown. Rumor has it that when aliens came to visit ancient people, they had similar discs on their ship. The guests noticed that people were greatly interested in their object and simply gave it to them, without explaining the essence of the artifact. Several thousand years passed, but mankind still couldn't understand how this thing was designed and what it could be used for. Well, if it's so, we can only hope that modern scientists will solve the ancient problem. And since we're again touching on the subject of aliens, why not focus on the alien skull found by scientists? At least a lot of newspapers wrote about the fact that people found it. This is what the object found by archaeologists looked like. It looks pretty much like the remains of an alien to me. It was found by researcher Brian Forster in a cave in Peru. The skull is only 5.1 inches long, elongated, the front part is small in relation to the skull, the alien has large round eyes, a small chin, and a very small mouth, all like in stories about aliens. The researcher himself believed that he found the real head of an alien creature. However, other scientists doubt the authenticity of the find. I agree. I wouldn't be in a hurry to believe anything either until I saw it in person, but Brian Forster refused to show people the object he found. Whether it's human greed which arose against the background of a breakthrough discovery, or the usual fear that he might be exposed. But still, 
If you remain committed to the first version and believe the words of the scientist, the test that he conducted in his laboratory is striking. According to this test, the DNA of the humanoid is not yet known to Earthlings. Is it possible that aliens are real after all? Like and subscribe.